this is crunchy dried up Bermuda. That's how hot and dry it has been. Just move the girls over to this section. Big conjure in the middle for shade and a good amount of vegetation, but not as much as we would like to have for the for this time of year it's kind of hard because we live in the south and it gets hot and dry so even the vegetation starts to suffer out here in the paddock and peter pepper's over there moaning because he's in rut and he thinks he's supposed to have a girlfriend and we're trying to hold out maybe one more heat cycle for most of these girls so we'll see we are still actively downsizing our herd trying to get it to be a little bit more manageable because with three little ones, two older ones, I'm just spread thin. My eldest child, Vivian, officially, officially, officially moved all the way out this week and it's been hard on this mama's heart, but it's also kind of been interesting to see the transition. Her room was one that we were keeping hers until she was sure she was ready to move out. You know, being in college, you never know when they're gonna come back. So three years ago, she moved into the dorms and this week she moved into her first very own least. So it's pretty exciting for her, exciting times for us. And we're just dealing with the transitions now. And I'm just trying to make things a little bit easier because I have a tendency to bite off more than I can chew. And I wouldn't say that I've done that, except for the fact that I have a new baby in the house. And so I need a little bit of relief from not having to do too much. So one of the things we've done to simplify and streamline our morning chores is feeding their grain out here. It seems to get them to run out easier and they can just share a communal bowl of feed instead of per stall and it's moved things a little faster for us so just trying to find the little tips and tricks to make things easier on me we've been very fortunate on the poultry side of things because a friend of ours donated four chicks of a heavy egg layer breed so that's going to help us have more chicken eggs in the future our egg layers are a little bit older now so we're looking at that point where we have to add in more for keeping our stock healthy and laying heavily enough for it to be worth it. And with the quail, we had somebody who needed to rehome about a dozen or so of a rare color mix. So we got a bunch of different colors, they're beautiful. We're super excited to see how those mature and it gives us the ability to go ahead and harvest some of our older layers for meat for the freezer. We decided to try to see how long we could go without going to the grocery store. It's a little challenge to ourselves. So we're gonna see what all we can forage from our property. And that means I'm sending Ryan out to go fishing when he gets off of work. So hopefully we can have some fish for dinner. And if not, then we can start harvesting some quail for future dinners. And we were very lucky because our neighbor stopped by to let us know that their Bartlett pear tree is covered in ripe fruit and we are welcome to help ourselves. So we're probably going to do that a little bit later as well. Looking forward to it. Made through the wilderness. Somehow I made it through. Yes, I am crazy. So yesterday we got rained out from our fishing and today we almost got rained out again it is just drip drying from a major downpour that came through so standing underneath these trees i'm getting dripped on the boys and i are going to come down here to this easy to access location on the pond and daddy's going to go over to his bass fishing spot he likes that's a little harder for the kids to climb through. And we're gonna get some fish for dinner. What do you think, Odin? You ready to eat some fish? Yeah, me too.
<laughs> What'd you get? I caught me a bass. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Yay. <laughs> You boys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get you set up. Do I feel slimy? These are the, we're going to try these crawdads. Or, or do they feel rubber? You want, you want rubber or slimy? One? Yeah, I want to yeah. feel one. Hold on, let me get well, They have that smelly stuff on them, Ryan. Squish it. Uh, they shouldn't be feeling They're going to wash their hands. I know. If you catch a fish, they're going to touch that. So. Yeah. I All know. right. You know what? I didn't really get to feel it. You can hold that one. Let me get Liam's ready. Where are you going to grow? That's my claw dad. Yeah, I think you guys might catch some fish for sure. It's a claw or that's dead. You have a good chance of catching a fish. That's a claw or that's dead. Let me see this. No, no it's pronounced crawl dad. Like a daddy. Like a daddy long. Or is looking for us. Aura, we're down here. Come on, Kiki. I think she smelled the fish. <laughs> She's like, where are you guys? I hear you. I can't see you. Hey, we're Cute not kitty. that way. It's, like, mm -hmm. it's funny how the cats follow yeah. us. They wanted to go fishing yeah. too. Oh yeah. Fringe. Fringe, that orange cat, is actually a stray tomcat. He sometimes fights with our cats, but usually he just sleeps next to them outside. This is but he's kind the of following them too, so it's funny. And what? When you go to cast, you don't push the button yet. You push the button when you get about to right here. And that's when it lets the line release, okay? So look where you want to cast to. You want to cast out that way. So you get ready. Come back and oh, have a good practice one. Real, 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 real. Go, buddy! Oh my gosh, it just sunk. This is a big one, Liam. This is a big one. I think you got a bass, dude. Maybe. Oh my gosh. You got it, you got it baby. Oh, Ooh, oh it my let go. god. It let go. It let go. Oh, that, did you see that fly in the air, Liam? Yeah. You are so close to having it. Get it! A bluegill! Yay! I got a fish, guys! Wow! That's a beaut! That's a big bluegill! Look at that! Biting off more than it can chew! Going after a it lizard! It was longer! Put it with the cool. bat! That's just... That's just proof that you can fish while baby wearing. <laughs> He's fast asleep and I'm over here catching his dinner. What do you think boys? Put it in with the bass? Yeah, sure. You gonna eat that one? Yeah. That's pretty good size for a bluegill. Alright, I gotta take it off the hook so I gotta turn the camera off. What you got there, Ryan? Oh, dinner again. Alright, I think three is what we said we would need for a complete meal. We got it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up if you like fresh fish for dinner. And that's how you catch dinner. What do you boys I think? Don't want to. You don't want Thumbs to. up. I don't want to hold it. Thumbs up, Liam.